one actually isn't reading properly. The other line is like under the piece of plastic. So it's, um, yeah, that one's not really a good reading, but it's the same as this one. Okay, so today is cycle day 11 and this morning you would have seen me test um, doing the little cheap strip and then one of these um, bigger ones as well. But as I think I just showed you, um, it didn't read properly. Like the little reader or thing that's inside there was shifted. So I wasn't getting a reading. It was like covered by the plastic. So that's why I retook um, that one just now. And then I remembered that I had these digital ovulation tests as well that I mentioned in my video um, of my trying to conceive haul. Um, so I'm actually going to test these out as well and it gives you a very clear yes or no um, to whether you are ovulating or not. So I'm going to do that as well. Um, if you're wondering why I'm taking so many tests, um, it's not necessary. I'm only doing it for like you guys' purpose so you can see the difference over like a good array of different tests. So a cheap strip, a more expensive like test, and then a digital test. So this is what my little tracking diary looks like so far. Um, if you are not sure what this is, I have a video dedicated to like everything about this tracking diary. Um, so I'll put a card for it somewhere up here. Um, but if you know, then that's great. Um, I'm just going to explain what, um, yeah, what it is so far. So, um, this is today, cycle day 11. It is the 26th of October. That was my test from this morning at 7.30 a.m. It is a low reading, um, and these were from, um, these were from yesterday, both, um, obviously all still low readings. I am only on cycle day 11. I usually ovulate somewhere around cycle day 14, 15. So I am experience, um, I am expecting just low readings, um, from now, but this was from this morning and that was the wrong reading that I was talking about because this is the one that I just retook. This one is also cycle day 11. And as you can see, that is a proper reading. That one was like an, um, invalid reading you can say um, so yep as you can see low reading low reading you can get rid of that one and then just to show you guys on the digital one it has come up with a no as well so there we go definitely not um, I am not ovulating I So that first line, which is the test line, has actually come up straight away and is much darker than the control line. So this may actually be a peak test. I'll wait a little bit more, just a couple more minutes, and then we'll read it. 
but it's looking pretty peak. Okay, it's been a couple more minutes and that is definitely a peak reading. Um, as you can see, that test line is actually considerably darker than the control line. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a peak. A lot of people in my last video actually asked why I test morning and night and why not just want do it once a day. And this is why. Um, this was my evening test and I actually got a peak this evening. And as you saw this morning, um, I was still reading kind of low. Um, low high but definitely wasn't peak if I had waited till tomorrow morning I would have gotten my peak then but I actually got that peak 12 hours earlier and you ovulate 24 to 36 hours after you get a peak so if I was to read it tomorrow morning I would have missed the 12 hour window do you see what I mean this two testing twice a day kind of makes it just a little bit more accurate for you um, so because I got a peak, I'm actually going to go ahead and do the other two tests as well to see what they say. We'll see if the digital says um, yes. And that is what a very strong peak <laughs> looks like. Those test lines are so strong if you compare them to yesterday and I'll, I'll show you um, and compare them to what they looked like before. Um, but this is why I test at night as well because otherwise I would have lost 12 hours of my sort of um, fertile window. So yeah, look at that. That is my peak. So it looks like I am ovulating in 24 to 36 hours. So um, yeah, I'm excited. So I've just stuck it in my book. Um, so we're on cycle day 13 today at 7.45 p.m. And you can see the difference right there, how strong that first line is. Um, all the other ones are low. And then this morning, um, so these were the more expensive tests. Um, low, low. And then this one was just taken right now. This one was this morning and it was reading a little bit high. You can see it's darker than before, but not as dark as peak. So that's why I wrote high, low there even though this one was reading low. Um, that one obviously detected a little bit more, but yeah, you can see the difference, low, high, and that is a very obvious peak. And then that's the peak too. So I will keep testing tomorrow and the day after to show you what it looks like when it goes back down. Um, but this did confirm it um, with a very, very straightforward yes.
so I ended up getting my period. I did not get pregnant the first cycle. I'm pretty bummed, to be fair. For some reason, I really did think I would get pregnant on the first try, which I know to some of you can sound like arrogant and like stupid, but I had no reason to believe I couldn't. Do you know what I mean? But it's okay. It was the first cycle and we will try again this month. Yeah, but um, if you liked the way that I filmed this video, do let me know so I can film the next cycle the same way or if there's um, something else you want me to include or do it a different way, let me know. Yeah, but I will track my next cycle the same way. We'll see if I get pregnant this month. I might take another month, who knows. Um, so if you are following me along this journey, thank you. Um, I'm happy that you're here. And um, yeah, I will keep you updated as things change and continue to make these videos. Um, for you guys, but um, so I didn't get pregnant this cycle, but let's hope for the best for cycle number two.